Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. In this article, I will discuss the one and only AMC stock and what investors should anticipate in the future. I'll also discuss what's happening to the AMC share price following the release of earnings, what just occurred during earnings, and how this will impact the company's future, and some of the most significant aspects of what Adam Aaron just said. Before I break anything down though, before I get into further detail, there are a few things I need to mention before getting started. To begin with, I am not a financial planner. Ensure that you accept none of this as financial advice. Furthermore, could you plus smash the link? If you wish to view similar videos, that not only benefits me, but also the entire community as a whole. And as a final request, I would appreciate it if you could check out the link in the description. If you forward the link below and put $100 into your account, you will receive 7 free stocks and free level 2 data. Moreover, any one of these 7 free stocks might be a free AMC. Today's choices are limited, so be sure to check them out before they're gone. Now that that is out of the way, let's begin the video. Anc was down 6.18% for the day and another 7% in after-hours trading. In terms of the overall performance, I am not overly concerned with what occurred to the share price today. Clearly, the entire market declined slightly, and I forewarned everyone that yes, I had predicted that AMC would likely receive a pop-up. That is approximately $8, and we would certainly have a solid close. We ended up finishing a touch lower than that, which would have been perfectly oak since what matters is what happens after results. Right. Here is where things become quite intriguing. Now, in my earlier videos, I cautioned everyone not to believe the hoopla. Do not expect AMC to squeeze as high as $20 or $30 if AMC broke as low as $8.50 or perhaps $9. Who knows how far it may go? You must keep an eye on this trend line. This is where AMC was repeatedly denied over the past few months. If she breaks out, it will be the next significant level of resistance. But I also told you that there's no guarantee AMC will go that high, and there's a risk she may start falling immediately after earnings are out. Right. During earnings, there was no particularly optimistic information that could have caused this stock's price to skyrocket. Except for the popcorn announcement, which was made much earlier. AMC's earnings were quite satisfactory. Overall, it wasn't that great, but I think the advice is still quite good. Adam Aaron did provide us with a great deal of optimism for the future, so I'd like to briefly explain that on March 14, there will be significant elections. The conclusion of the ape conversion phenomenon. What did Adam Aaron have to say about it, and what just occurred to get us started? Anc's income climbed by 27% to over $969 million, or nearly $1 billion. This is, in my opinion, really outstanding. The revenue actually exceeds estimates. They have a tendency to outperform revenue bonds. As measured by their earnings per share, it did expand slightly. Around $0.22 per share was lost. It was the total amount of the loss. The entire loss is approximately 2000 $269 million. Thus, AMC is still not profitable after all these years. Yet, there is still much work to be completed. They definitely exceeds both expectations, which is commendable. They did exceed many expectations, but we have a great deal of work to do to get started. The good news about AMC is that Adam Aaron has announced the release of microwavable microwavable excuse me, microwavable popcorn. This is optimistic. Strictly, I wish to categorize this because there are three flavors. We provide additional butter, traditional butter, and salted butter. Again, this is extremely positive news since it might be beneficial and generate significantly more money in the future, and I'm hopeful that this will bring them closer to profitability. I do believe they are getting closer, and I truly hope that AMC accomplishes something similar very soon. Yet, I'm unsure if popcorn alone will help them become lucrative. They may need to take a number of further significant moves, such as boosting pricing, in order to reach their goal. Not a guarantee, however. If demand begins to decline, they may be forced to reduce prices. And Adam Aaron did say that AMC's merch has helped them generate additional revenue. Indeed, you can look it up. For example, if you search for AMC stuff, you can discover it. 
I would also like to make everyone aware that AMC has been trying extremely hard to rent out a portion of their theaters to Zoom. In terms of revenue, they have been producing more and more money going forward, and it is probable that this trend will continue. This is essentially what Adam Aaron emphasized, since this year will witness an increase of over 70% in the number of films generating over $100 million. There will also likely be a much, much larger increase in the release of blockbuster films, which will likely result in more people going to the cinema. Despite the fact that we are still recuperating from the pandemic, AMC is making significant progress. Ant will also charge a fee for credit cards in the near future. Again, this is encouraging news because it has the potential to significantly increase AMC's profits. In addition, they will offer varying prices for a variety of different seats over there. So the less popular seats will be cheaper, while the more popular seats will be significantly or considerably more expensive. Right. And that will benefit AMC overall. So, there are some really positive outcomes. However, the majority of what Adam Aaron said was already common knowledge. He did not really make any new announcements. And the most important thing he said was that he encouraged us all right. He did not compel us. He did not state that you must. He encouraged us to vote in favor of the entire ape conversion proposal, as well as to vote in favor of the ape conversion and the reverse stock split. So why would he act this way? And here is my response to that. I wish to make this as straightforward as possible. There were approximately 500 million or more AMC shares. Afterwards, Adam Aaron declared that we will establish this entity, known as AIP, correct? It was created to assist AMC generate enormous profits, in contrast to the value of AMC. However, the price of AIP has been very low. And overall, AIP has been dropping since it was released and was trading around $0.65, with a slight increase following the announcement of the prospective conversion. I believe she will negotiate all the way down to $6. Now, she has roughly 6 points. 6.5 to 6.6 .6 now. I believe she will drop all the way to 6, then retest 5.93 and 5.75 in zones like these, but I will be watching $6 tomorrow. Acceptable, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for your attention. And please, please, please keep in mind that I anticipate AMC will squeeze. Long term, I am quite positive on AMC due to her cost to borrow the short interest amount of FOMO that could actually impact the company and the formula that could lead to some short selling to cover shorts. And many shorts will begin covering if AMC makes significant moves in short time periods. And this could have a substantial impact on the share price. Thus, there is no end of the planet. Ank is likely to begin a downturn immediately, but I will exercise extreme patience. I will not simply refer to her as crashing immediately. I do believe she will trend downwards, however, and will be keeping an eye on $6 for tomorrow or possibly a little lower. Other than that, I have nothing else to say about this video. Please be prepared. Remember to be extremely diligent, extremely cautious with money, and to act at your own best interests. Thank you for your attention. I am over the moon because the long-term and ultra-long-term futures are still quite bright.